Main, the main core programs at our place are, are the meals. I mean, we served uh, you know, over 745,000 meals last year and over 14,000 showers. Um, so a big part of that is meeting people where they're at. And the medical room is something that um, we actually, um, we saw a need for it. We found that a lot of our, our family members, were, they wouldn't access services even if the services were close by. Well, we see in a typical two-hour uh, session that we're here, we'll see anywhere from maybe six to 12 people, depending on what it is that, that occupies our time during that period, yeah. Unfortunately, the people that, uh, uh, that use our place are, in many cases, marginalized people who have difficulty getting access to regular health care, not because it isn't there, but they have maybe reservations about um, how they'll be treated, how they'll be received. And so having someone here just makes the whole medical system so much more accessible to them. Um, the other thing that happened is there's been a, a crisis with fentanyl and um, that's sweeping Canada, but it really kicked off in BC. And so we've, we saw an awful lot of people overdosing. Um, the provincial government saw it as a state of emergency and they gave us approval to open a overdose prevention site. And there's the stigma of using and that's a huge one and with places like this people can come and safely use and also find out what resources are out there you know in here people can get connected to to detox to treatment um, to counselors to people with act teams and it's just it's a really great place because everyone knows that they're in a safe place here there's too much information overload that they're carrying and a certain amount of these people have that and then when they're able to put their walls down and get that sense of trust with you that just comes pouring out of them. That's an amazing, it's a miracle in itself. So there's a lot of miracles out there on a daily basis. Up until this year, about almost 60% of our funding came from individual donors and came from funds like the Mission Service. And so that's what keeps the lights on. That's what keeps us opening our door, you know, and that's, that's kind of our our biggest frustration is we we want to we want to solve solve homelessness and solve poverty and solve addiction, so it is, and we can only do that as long as our doors are open.